10th chapter applications of derivatives this chapter belongs to mathematics 1b part 13 last part completed profit function model problem 7 marks in ip examination completed today explain some more problems in profit function model what is that first problem a manufacturer can sell a manufacturer can sell X items at a price of rupees 5 minus X by 100 each. Each item can sell 5 minus X by 100. Each item 5 minus X by 100. The cost price of X items. Here X items can be sell. The cost price of this, that X items is X by 5 plus 500. Find the number of items. Find the number of a number of items that can be manufactured. Find the number of items that can be manufactured should sell to earn a maximum profit. You earn a maximum profit, you can manufacture how many items only. Then only here find the number of items manufactured, not maximum profit. Also find maximum profit is there. That's why you can find a maximum profit. That's why first of all here put a cost price. Cost price is C of X and uh, selling price you have to take selling price is uh, S of X and uh, profit function. Profit function we have to take P of X. These are all values you have to take. Here, given that the cost of price is given, that is cost of price is how much? Cost of price is X items is given, X by 5 plus 500, cost price completed. Next, uh, selling price, selling price, this is what? This, this is what? Cost price, selling price is of X equal to X into each items. Price of each item, each item selling price, each item selling price. What is the each item selling price? Price of rupees in each item is 5 minus x by 100. This uh, is each item price is this 5 minus x by 100. Here x items is there, that's why you can multiply with this. Here we have 5 minus 5x minus x squared by 100. This is the selling price. This is the cost price. After that, the profit. What is the meaning of profit? Profit. You get a selling price minus cost price, you get profit, or cost price minus selling price, you get profit. Here, selling price is more than cost price. Selling price is more than cost price. That can you get profit. Here, profit function P of X. Selling price is S of X. Cost of price is C of X. You can get the P of S of X value. What is the S of X value? 5X minus X minus X squared by 100. This is the S of X minus C of X value. You know that? Minus X by 5 plus 500. After that, simplify this one. You get what? P of X equal to here 5x minus x squared by 100 minus x by 5 minus into minus you can minus into plus you can write minus 500 that's why you can write p of x equal to these two have the LCM 5 5 the 25 x 25 x minus x by 5 minus x squared by 100 minus 500 just to in this two term we have to take LCM here 5 1 is there 5 1 LCM 5 5 is 25 minus x after that we can write p of x value is uh, 24 x by 5 minus x squared by 100 minus 500 we have to take this is equation number 1 after that this one derivative derivative on both sides with respect to x you get a t by dx of p of x equal to here 24 by 5 is common. 24 by 5 is common. Derivative of x minus 1 by 100 is common. Derivative of x square 
minus the derivative of 500. Understood or not, students? Here, the derivative of p by p of x, 24 by 24 by p common x separate derivative, 1 by 100 common x is kept separate derivative. After that, the derivative of p of x is p dash x. 24 by 5. What is the derivative of x? 1 minus 1 by 100 into x square derivative is 2x. x square derivative is 2x minus here constant 500 is constant, constant derivative is 0. You get p dash x is equal to 24 by 5 minus x by 50. 2 ones are 2 fifties minus x by 50. This is the equation number 2. This is p dash x. Here we know that uh, if the if the profit function if the profit function having the maximum or minimum maximum or minimum then the p dash is value equal to zero. If the p dash is value equal to zero, then this function having maximum or minimum. What is the p dash x? 24 by 5 minus x by 50 equal to 0. After that, you can write 24 by 5 equal to x by 50. 5 ones are 5 tens are then uh, x is equal to 24 into 10. That's why x value is 240. x value is what here? 240. x value is 240. After that, the x value completed. After that, just here class multiply 24 into 10 to 240. x into 1, you get x. After that, uh, in this equation 2, derivative of both side, one side is interested to x, you get the option sir, d by dx of d dash x uh, is equal to, here 24 by 5 is constant, d by dx of 24 by 5 minus, here 1 by 50 comma, 1 by 50 comma, derivative of x. Here, p dash x derivative is uh, p double dash x. Derivative of p double dash x. Here 24 by 5 derivative is 0 minus 1 by 50 comma x derivative is 1. Then p double dash x value is minus 1 by 50. This is suppose we have to take this is equation number 3. In equation 3, substituted x is equal to 240. What happened? p double dash x equal to p double dash x. x value is 240. Here minus 1 by 50. Which functions to answer? Constant function, constant function cannot be changed. That's the one side unit and then minus 1 by 50. Here minus 1 by 50 having less than 0 or greater than 0, that having less than 0. Why we call that having less than 0? Here negative is a negative value wants always less than 0. That's why p double dash of x is less than 0. Then the function, then the function p of x is a Maximum. P of x is a maximum. And that the profit function. That the profit function is maximum. Maximum. Yet uh, x is equal to 240 items. Here you can manufacture 240 items. You can manufacture 240 items. You get the maximum profit. Otherwise, uh, you get the uh, None, we cannot uh, maximum profit. Understood or not? In this way, you can do that. This is a different model problem. Here, profit function is not given. Cost price is given. Selling price also be not given. You can find cost price, selling price after the profit function. After that, simplify previous problem model totally similar way. Understood or not? This is a very very important several class problem in IP examination. Next today assignment problems are over problems. Previous problem model, first problem is find the maximum profit that a company can make if the profit function is given. Profit function is given, you can find maximum profit. First, this one is derivative f dash is equal to minus 41 derivative is 0, 72 x derivative is 1, minus 18 into x square derivative is 2 then p dash x equal to you can write 72 minus 36 x, 18 to the 36 x. Then p dash x value you can write 0, 72 minus 36 x equal to 0, 36 x equal to 72, then x is equal to 36 ones are 36 twos are, you get x value is 2. 
After the term, P dash is one second derivative of P double dash is. This P dash is derivative is P double dash is. Is equal to 72 derivative is 0, minus 36 into x derivative is 1, then p dash of x derivative is minus 36, then p double dash of x value you have to take to minus 36 is less than 0, is less than 0, this is having maximum profit. That the maximum profit, that the maximum profit equal to p of 2. In of 2. You can write in this equation x value is 2 minus 41 plus 72 into 2 minus 41 is the plus 72 into 2 minus 18 into 2 square. Simplify to get maximum profit. This is the first problem. In that the shortcut explained. Second problem. The profit function P of X of a company selling X items is given by once again P of X is given that is uh, minus X cube plus minus X square minus 15X minus 30. Here find the absolute maximum of the maximum profit function can manufacture the maximum 6000 units. First you can find the P dash x equal to minus X cube derivative to 3X square plus 9 into X square derivative to 2 x Minus 15 x square by 2 of 30 derivative is 0. You can write minus 3 x square plus 18 x minus 50. This is the p dash x. After that, p dash x value equal to 0. You get the minus 3 square plus 18 x minus 15 is value equal to 0. In this total term, minus 3 you get common. x square minus 6 x plus 5 equal to 0. You get the x square minus 6x plus 5 equal to 0. This can be divided to that as well. That is x minus 1 into x minus 5. Directly right now. x value is 1 or x value is 5. x value is 2 value is 0. After that, uh, this p dash is 1 second derivative. That is p double dash is. Here minus 3 comma x square derivative is 2x plus 18 comma x derivative is 1 minus 0. P double dash of x value is minus 6x plus i d. In this equation, you can write first one value. P double dash of 1 equal to minus 6 plus i d. That is 12. 12 is greater than 0. 12 is greater than 0 having minimum value. But here, which value you can find? Them? Maximum. That's why x is, x is equal to 1 is not satisfied. Then you can go to 2. P double dash of 5 equal to minus 6 into 5 plus 3 plus 18. You can write minus 12. Minus 12 is less than 0. Then maximum profit. Maximum profit is what here? Maximum profit is P of 5. P of 5 is a maximum profit. In this function, in this function, x value can write 5. That's why P of 5 equal to minus 5 whole 2 plus 9 into 5 square. Minus 15 into 5 minus 13. This value you can simplify, you get a maximum profit. In these two problems, homework problems, these two homework problems, some short cut with both of us explained, you get to clearly write down classwork in previous problem model. Okay.